Get this going. There. Ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? Uh, I don't know. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. go quickly. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, Amem. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem. Yeah, really? except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A Code Red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the Prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding. As far from here as we can. 
There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. You know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Amen. My dear Amen, I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. Miss Lewis, welcome. Can I help you with something? Miss Lewis. Who's she, Caleb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can lead. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast 
that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stick to his heart and cried your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed, then, that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda. She needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the prime engine. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Counselor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Leto's teams are trying to reach them, but... Nobody's answering? No. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me?
everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. It seemed like an eternity without you. I miss you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide. Because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie. But don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Glacia. It's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with me. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. 
It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... uh... what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? You know what I think of the court. I'm not comfortable there. You'll get used to it quickly. I'm not sure I want to. It's not a question. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've got to keep our wits about us. Got it? Yeah. Do you knew me?
doesn't take long. Yeah. Told you to be careful. Sorry, I got carried away. It's a come with me. There. Okay. Sure. What a shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the black rather's rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine, sorry. Did you need anything else? Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back anytime you want. Yes? It's a disaster. Sorry, I I'm a little out of it. I 
I know that perfume. Jay. That's Jay's scarf. You... You want to... I... Underwood and Fang. Azora's ears must be burning. Hi, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Jay, what were you doing in the archives? Page three was torn out. There are traces of blue ink on page two. and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker. Pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Bentley. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. <sighs> but why would she need that? Why now? I wonder. again. What do you want? April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. You can tell me. My lips are sealed. 
The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. Fine, I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. Elevator to get here. Locked. 